Hi folks, I'm Jay from Trade Skills For You and today we're going to be looking at fitting a gland to some steel wire armoured cable or SWA as it's referred to commonly in the industry. So first we need to size our gland and we do that by using the conductors or the cores inside this cable. So if we have a look at the end of our SWA here, you can see that there are three conductors. Now what we have to use are the size of those three conductors. In this instance, it's 1.5 millimeters squared. I can get that information. If I run my hand down the cable, I'll actually find that it's written on here somewhere, as you can see there. So now we know the size of our conductors, we can use the gland selection chart on the back of our gland pack. As we can see, we've got 1.5, we have three core, and it says there that we should have a 20S size gland. As I flip it over, you can see here, we've got a 20S size gland. Now we've got BW, as it's gonna be for indoor use. There are another type of gland, very similar to these, but they are CW, and they are for outdoor use. The 20 on the gland pack refers to the size of hole in the enclosure. In this case, 20 mil is the size we're gonna be using. Okay, so I've opened the gland pack now, so let's have a look at what's inside. We have two of everything, one for either end. We have our shrouds, okay? I'm gonna be looking at those in a moment. We have our earth rings, commonly referred to as banjos. We have our locking nut, you can see. And we have our gland, which comprises of two parts. So I'm just gonna undo those, just so you can see both parts. So first, I'm gonna cut my shroud. So that's these things here. Now I like to start with these to ensure that we've got a nice, tight fitting shroud on the uncut end of our SWA. So I'm just gonna pop that on the end and as you can see, we get a small crease and that's where I'm gonna do my cut. So I'm just gonna grab my knife. And I'm just gonna score around just where I can see the ridge of the cable. So I'm just gonna cut there, and cut right the way around in a nice neat circle, as neat as I can get it. Okay. If we spin it round, that should be a nice tight shroud on my SWA. So the next thing I wanna do is actually measure how much cable I'm gonna need for termination. So I'm just gonna use my box as an example. So for instance, if I needed to terminate this much cable, this will be the mark for my first cut. So once I've measured that, here is where I'll make my first cut. But before I do that, and I'm just gonna put this section into my shroud. That ensures I don't forget to put it on later. So I'm just gonna leave that there. And I'm gonna put this back piece of the gland just into my shroud so I can see it and use it later. The next thing I need to do is remove the armor and this cable. Now I have to score all the way around the armor. To do this, there are a couple of different ways. There's the hacksaw, and as you can see, if I were to do that, there's a chance I could slip and go through one of my fingers. So we're gonna be using the armor slice. So to set up this armor slice, I'm just gonna undo the vise at the top and I'm gonna place the blade, which is just there on my armor slice, on the mark I made earlier. And I'm just gonna tighten it up. Okay. Now when we score the armor, we want them to be nice and straight. So by using this, I'm gonna get it tight. Okay, feels tight to me. And as you can see by the 
edge of the tool, I have to rotate it this way. So as I hold it, it's going to have to go that way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate a few times and then I'm actually going to tighten up. Rotate. Tighten up again. And then I'm going to loosen off. That should be adequate now. So once I've made the score in the armour, I'm going to use my electrician's knife. Now obviously, using knives does come with its own danger. We want to make sure we're using both hands and we are cutting away. We can remove the outer sheath now. Now with this next step, where I've scored the armoured, take a couple of strands at a time and we want to make sure that they snap. Now the more I score, the easier these cores snap. So just to show you again, I'm just going to take a couple. I'm going to wiggle them until they snap. So once I've removed all the armoring from around the portion of cable I want to terminate, I need to cut a small section of the outer sheath and to expose a little bit more of the armour and you'll see why in a moment. The cut I'm going to make, I usually allow for about a thumb's width, plus a small little bit. I'm going to use my knife to just score all the way around, again nice and neat, all the way up to the actual steel wiring. Okay, again, going to cut away from me. I'm just going to expose that armour in there. So once I've exposed the armour, I'm now going to splay the armoured cores out. And I do this by using the inner conductors there. I'm just going to make a small, nice little rotation just to splay the armour in out. The next part of the gland, we want to make sure that the armoring sits on this bit here, not the thread. So as I hold the gland up, that is where my armoring is gonna sit, okay? Just on this bit, not on the thread. What we don't want to happen is we don't want any armored cores on the inside of the gland. And I'm just gonna hold this in place Tighten it up finger tight at first. And as we can see, there should be no cores crossed or none on the inside of the gland. I need to actually tighten it up to where it's ready for termination. There are a number of ways I can do this. I can use 22 mil spanners, I can use adjustable spanners, but I'm going to be using pipe grips. So the first pipe grip I'm going to set is just to hold the gland in place. As you can see, it was a little bit too big, so I'm going to go smaller. I'm just going to hold that in place. I'm going to set up my next set of pipe grips. This is going to tighten the nut. So I'll keep my right hand still and I only move my left hand. That should be nice and tight. The only thing left to do is to remove this inner insulation ready for termination. What I want to do again, I'm going to keep about a thumb's width of the inner insulation, so about that point. I'm going to use my electrician's knife, but I need to be very, very careful as I don't want to damage 
the conductors inside. So I'm just going to make a small little score. And then I'm just going to apply a bit of pressure and it should break open like so, exposing my inner cores. All ready for termination. We haven't shown how we would terminate this into an enclosure, but we'll look at that in a future video. Hopefully you've enjoyed what you've watched. Please like and subscribe and see you again soon.